Alright, hey everyone, this is Jo Dale here with my newly acquired Creature Caster Emperor Dragon that I'm going to show in the unboxing and have a look at uh, how good the cast is. So, here's all the pieces. Right. So I have had a quick look already and thankfully I have got all of the pieces that should be in the package which is more than some people have. So there's a base. Two wings. That's the main body. The other arm. I've got three claws, all different ones, I think. Yep. Yep, thankfully. Two alternate neck pieces, two different heads. Then you've got the armor plug. It's one of the options for this bit here. There we go. Also, you've got the saddle, which will also slot in there once it's been cleaned up. And the howder, which I think basically combines with the armor plug to go over the top there. Okay, that's the lower jaw. You only get one lower jaw with uh, these dragons, um, which is a shame because it would be nice if you could make a two-headed version. Um, two sets of horns. These are the standard horns. There's a lot of flash on that, and the sort of wood, wood elfy dragon variant, if you want that, with the antlers. Um, and then you've got the two tail pieces. Um, yeah, click together like that. Yeah, there don't seem to be um, many bubbles, but uh, if we take a close look at the this tail piece here, there's a quite a bit of a misalignment where the mould has slipped. Shouldn't take too much effort to well. So sort of file that down a little bit. We've got obviously got this tag to remove as well. Um, thankfully, he hasn't got any major holes in his tail, which is good. Um, one thing I have noticed though is uh, where this. Yeah. Right, where um, the sculpt has obviously moved uh, during the molding process, you now have quite a gap between where the tail is and where the rock is. I think the tail is actually meant to hug the rock and sit within this, this groove here, um, but it, it doesn't do that anymore. So you may be able to bend that back into place with a bit of hot water, or uh, what I might do is actually just maybe fill in this bit of rock with some green stuff um, to make it look a bit better. Okay, so here are the two Emperor Dragon heads side by side. As you can see there's quite a big difference between the detail on the top of the head of both models. I think partly that was deliberate, but I think this one could have done with a bit more sculpting on the head, following those scales along the rest of them, rest of the head. Because at the moment it just looks a little bit undefined, um, 
as if there was supposed to be some detail there, but it was lost. And I'm not sure really whether that was the case or not. Um, looking at the images of the original print, again, there wasn't an awful lot of detail on the on the top of the head, um, but possibly slightly more than there has been um, in this cast. The teeth could have done with a bit more definition as well. Uh, it doesn't look particularly vicious. Um, certainly not when you compare it to the old Ultra Forge Dragon. Um, which I might do actually, I'll just go and get that one. Okay, so for comparison, this is actually the head of the Ultra Forge Dragon. You see the, the teeth are a lot um, finer in terms of detail. This was obviously hand sculpted rather than 3D sculpted and I think it does make quite a difference. So here's the creature cut, the, the Ultra Forged Dragon. And for comparison, let's get, let's get our new creature caster one. Yeah. It's obviously bigger, quite a bit bigger actually, but I wouldn't necessarily say better. So I think the uh, Ultra Forge one has definitely retained more detail. It comes across as a fair bit more delicate than the new Creature Caster ones. Also, if you look at the howder, there's some really well-defined detail, really sharp edges, bearing in mind this has been coated in paint as well. And if we compare it to, we compare it to the new Creature Caster howder, it kind of looks a bit melty. There's you know, not as much definition. Around here it's not so bad. But at the front, especially around the bottom, it just it's not as clean as it should be. Not as crisp. Which is a bit of a shame because we were promised really high quality miniatures. And I think this falls short somewhat. Oh, there we are. Okay, so these are the two the two arm pieces. And um, I don't know if you can make that out on the video, but the arm the the right arm is actually a bit more detailed on the inside than the left arm, which has got a slightly shallower detail, um, possibly maybe too much mould release was um, mold release agent was used on that. But you shouldn't really see that um, once the model's built so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Here's a close up picture of the main antlers with the uh, well, horns with uh, a lot of the flash on there. Okay, so you can see here there's a little bit of a damage or maybe there was a bubble there or something. But um, yeah, it's left a, a bit of a mess around the square slot there. Let's have a look at the, the saddle um, area. There's a fair bit of detail but it, it's not really as sharp as you would hope it would be for a model of this sort of price range. Could do overall with a bit more definition. Generally the rest of the body is okay. There's a bit of um, 
mold lines here. Um, hopefully it won't be too visible once it's put together. Unfortunately it's going to take a bit of cleaning up before I can start fitting it together because of all of these big tags here and here and pretty much on all of the areas where you'd want to be able to fit the model together as a dry fitting process. But once I've done some clean up I'll post um, the model assembled and see how that looks. There's a <coughs> close up of one of the wings. on the other side. So you can see actually there's quite a lot of detail mainly around the centers of the wings but then as you get towards the edges that detail seems to soften and is rather undefined. I don't think that was deliberate. You can see you've got more, more tags to clean off there and there before you can dry fit the wing to the body. Uh, but that's part of the hobby, so it should be fun to put together at least. I'm just glad I finally got them. Right, next will be the mountain dragon.